we welcome you sir to this virtual platform of dembe college mr sudeep faldesai is yes, the project you. officer at goa state innovation council government of goa he holds a bachelor's degree in computer engineering from raishwar engineer in sorry raishwar institute of engineering and technology goa and also a post graduate degree in marketing and operations from indus business academy bangalore to his credit he is also holding the position of executive member at incubation center government polytechnic panji he is also the member secretary of technical advisory committee provisional patent scheme of goa state innovation council and also the member secretary at selection committee prototyping grant at goa state innovation council mr faldesai has more than a decades experience in entrepreneurship and innovation and has promoted several startup ecosystems and launched a couple of startups in the state of goa for the last 3 years mr sudeep faldesai is heading the office at goa state innovation council which is an initiative of goa government focusing on fostering innovation and entrepreneurship at the grassroots levels in the state under his able leadership the innovation cell has conducted various programs and projects and contributes greatly towards building a robust startup infrastructure in the state i now request mr sudeep faldesai to kindly take over the session sir please thank you so much uh, ma'am for the wonderful introduction a very warm good morning to all the participants uh, who are um, attending today's program please give me a moment so that i can share my screen thank you before we start with the session i would like to take a moment and thank the management of the college also thanks to the teaching and the non teaching staff and uh, the coordinator for today's program for giving us this opportunity so that we can interact with uh, the students and the teachers from the college thank you so much Uh, a few uh, in uh, a few points about the goa state innovation council we are under the aegis of the department of science and technology government of goa where we support student from schools colleges startups entrepreneurs and also research faculties in in converting their ideas into scalable products uh today i will not uh, go much in detail of all the uh, programs and initiatives that we do but i'll tell in brief what are the main initiatives or the key initiatives that our participants can take as you can see these are the list of the council members of the innovation council we have the chairman mr jose mena norna as a chairman of the goa state public from the goa state public service commission as a chairman of the innovation council we also have the director mr levinson martin sir as the member secretary of the innovation council okay so innovation council uh, has uh, has focus on this three categories that is first is creating awareness programs second is competitions third is mentoring and funding support okay before a quick uh, a quick thumbs up before we go ahead if anybody has any query or any suggestions please unmute yourself or you can put your queries in the chat and i would be more than happy to uh, reply uh so now when we talk about innovation it is also important that there should be a platform where we can help you we can support you and we can some ideas can be sourced so for that purpose we have the virtual innovation register it is a online marketplace where you can park your ideas for the necessary support now that support can be provided uh, for two uh, categories first is as an idea and second is as a startup you can you can go through the list of the support benefits that are provided for your idea and for your startup so uh, virtual you know innovation register is also like a idea sourcing youtube uh, like a channel where you can 
even if you have more than one ideas, you can register your ideas and you can park them over there. And as uh, the requirement or as the market requirement uh, arises, we are going to choose those projects and we are going to work on that. The, the moment you register your idea with the virtual innovation lecture, first thing is that we do a prior art search um, just to check if it is patentable or not. If, yes. Okay. Uh, if it is patentable, we go ahead and we uh, take the idea for patenting. If not, we push it for commercialization. So commercialization typically involves building a prototype, building a minimal viable product, and then taking it to incubators or, or some private uh, investors for pitching purpose through transfer of technologies. And you can also see the benefits of registering your startup. Okay. Uh, so far, we had around 371 plus new ideas registered on the portal and around 53 startups that are registered on the virtual innovation register. Uh, now, when we talk about commercialization, it is very important that your idea has to be converted into a tangible product. So uh, I'll focus more on uh, hardware based uh, projects uh, in this particular presentation. As you can see that uh, uh, as a student or a faculty, uh, you will have amazing ideas. But then those ideas are very volatile and they just disappear like your dreams. So what we have done, we have come up with a prototyping lab where you have to walk in with your design and we will help you con to convert your design into a scalable product that is in the form of a tangible product which can be used as a minimal viable product or a proof of concept and we can take it ahead for private uh, investment or some government support scheme. We have access to la uh, laser cutting machines, 3D printers, essential and power tools for you. Okay, and this lab is established at the Don Bosco College of Engineering, Fatoda. And if any individual is welcome to come and utilize the lab, in fact, we, we would request the management of the college to arrange for a field visit or a one day uh, robot uh, prototyping session at our lab where we can have around 30 to 35 students coming and attending the program. Uh, I we have a quick video of the prototyping lab, so please uh, go to that. L, the twelfth alphabet, add this alphabet to an idea, and what you get is a transformation of thought into reality. But the big question is, where can you find your L? Because for an idea to become ideal. We first come to see how it looks, and that's where the Rapid Prototyping Lab comes into picture. Welcome to the Prototyping Lab of the Goa State Innovation Council, which is established at the Don Bosco College of Engineering. The Goa State Innovation Council has established this uh, prototyping development laboratory in 2019. And this basically is a stage after the ideation process where any young innovator can come. Our mission and the prototyping lab is to support students, startups and entrepreneurs with the necessary prototyping support that has to be provided to them in converting their ideas into scalable products. Hi, this is Sunaya Shilukar. I'm representing my company, AC Solutions, wherein I'm the founder and the director of the company. It's an ad tech startup, founded it almost two years back. When I started um, the journey, I was a little overwhelmed when I didn't know how to you know, do the prototyping of the, the product, the robots. I had no means over here, but then when I got introduced to GSINC, they told me that they have their prototyping lab and they have their laser cutting machines and the 3D printers. So, you know, I could do a lot of my prototyping work over here and then come up with a final project. And uh, now, now almost a 20% work of my robot, uh, the robotic structure is what I do over here at, in the GSNC lab. The lab is equipped with the latest tools and technology. It allows the innovators to tinker around with their ideas until they can refine them to the point of idealization. In addition, the Innovation Council has schemes. They, they will give you a grant for prototyping development. They can give you a grant for filing for IPR. 
My name is Tarun Krishnakumar. I'm the founder of Eleven Agritech Services. We are a drone as a service company and we provide drone services to farmers. Prototyping Lab helped us with a prototyping grant through which we were able to uh, apply for the software systems which were used to develop the product design itself. The benefits of the prototyping lab are building the product design groups, saving costs and time, customization and reducing design flaws. My name is Devishit Doki and uh, we are working on a startup called Drone Isle. It's basically a combination of two things. It's a drone and a um, missile. We were trying to make it at our home, it was not possible. So when we used these equipments and the materials they provided, that is where honestly we, we got the idea again and that gave us a confidence that we can go ahead with the product. Because uh, after coming out of the engineering, giving our whole year in this and then if you don't get the results, that becomes frustrating and it's like we have to drop it and we have to go into uh, again a job. So, but then when we came across here, that was the part that changed everything. The total number of visitors at the prototyping lab are more than 450, out of which 85% are students from schools and colleges, and rest 15% are startups, innovators, research faculties, and other people. We have a virtual innovation register where we expect all the young innovators to file and load their ideas. Once it is there on our BIR, it also logs in that the idea began at that point on that date. So you have rights for an IPR. I encourage all of you to come. If you don't have an idea, visit this lab, see what is happening, see what can take place, meet the staff of Innovation Council, meet the staff of FIRE, who I'm sure will motivate you and guide you to eventually succeed and come out with a good product that is not only good for Goa, but good for the entire world. I wish you all, all the best in this step that you will take. Yeah, thank you. So that was the video on the prototyping lab of the Innovation Council. Uh, these are the list of the equipments that are available for you to come and uh, uh, learn. Okay. Uh, the numbers uh, in the lab were I mean, like they are like a year old. So these are the latest numbers that we had more than 1,000 visitors out of which 67% were from schools and colleges and rest were startups and others who have come to the lab. Uh, coming to uh, financial support covered by the Innovation Council and the Government of Goa. So first is we give you a grant of 10,000 rupees for filing provisional patent. We have empaneled the, the list, as you can see the list of four uh, patent agents and attorneys for filing of provisional patent. So if, uh, Provisional patent is a temporary patent filing that we do with the Indian Patent Office where we inform the patent office that we need time to file the complete patent but yes this is what I'm working on and uh, you get around 10, around 1 to 1 and a half year to file your complete patent. So all that is facilitated by the uh, Goa State Innovation Council through the scheme of patent filing under VIR. So the next scheme is a scheme which was designed or uh, considering the requirement of the students from schools and colleges. So when students, they have their academic or they are uh, state or the national level competitions. So they always find it difficult for having financial support. So we came up with a scheme uh, where we provide you uh, with a financial support of 20,000 rupees in the form of a grant where you can utilize this money to buy, uh, purchase or procure hardware that is required for a project. Okay, so uh, all these schemes are available on our website. You can simply go to our website and you can register as a new idea under VIR and you can uh, select any of the schemes or both the schemes if you are willing to or you are seeking for any support. Uh, so far we have, uh, uh, so far around seven people have benefited from the provisional patent scheme and around 37 people have benefited from the prototyping grant scheme. So as we were working with a lot of entrepreneurs, innovators and students, also startup community, we understood that it is very difficult for one 
for individual to know his skills and his mindset whether he is he has the right skills to become an entrepreneur or will he be successful in future if he let's say leaves a job and he pursues entrepreneurship as a full time career so we came up with the innovation test which is a combination of innovation quotient with aptitude uh, quotient where the test will help you uh, by giving you a 37 page report and that report will have your strengths and weaknesses also the uh the historical data of the community around you like for example if let's say a student from dempe college is taking this test and he wants to know his uh, uh his a uh, score compared to all the students across the state of goa so we have the historical data over there where your score is compared with the median score uh, in the community and uh, as uh, the algorithm uh, uh, identifies the strengths and weaknesses we also have integrated a concept of innovation library the innovation library is a self uh, learning platform where the algorithm will tell you that this is your strength and this is your weakness and accordingly you can take those courses and you can we really take this test so this test is more like a self assessment test where any individual can take this test totally uh, free of cost there is not there is nothing charged over here and it also gives you a proper 37 page report which will which will also help you in understanding doing self assessment and the innovation library will help you go through those uh, strengths and weaknesses of yours by providing with the online uh, free course to you okay so these are some of the nine core competencies that we focus on and uh, uh, this is the screenshot of where you can find the innovation test that is you have to go to the website of goa state innovation council.com there you will find this green uh, animated uh, button click on it and it will take you to a registration page register and you can take the test uh this is some of the screenshot from the test it tells you your aptitude score your innovation percentage and it also tells you on your strength areas in aptitude your strength areas in innovation portion so uh, one of the key take away for the government of goa is that this data can also help the policy makers frame those right policies using the data that has been generated from the innovation test so now for example if the average of uh, average skill among the student community is very high for self motivation and very low for performing arts and numerical aptitude so the government can come up with some policies or some skill based learning for the students so that they are schools have increased as they are in their academic uh, institutions the same for function wise efficiency uh these are these are some of the prototypes that have been built using uh, the prototyping lab and they are few beneficiaries that have been received the grant of 10 20000 rupees some of the photographs over like we have built, we have built autonomous paying drone in the prototyping lab we have also built a atmospheric water generator so atmospheric water generator is a final year engineering project from the don bosco college of uh, engineering from from the mechanical department we also built a drone this is this are all in house projects that are built using the prototyping lab next uh, we also work file for patent for cake making and baking using 3d printing technology uh, we also uh, consider sports to be a, a big motivation so we thought that why only stick to education why not go into sports innovation innovations in sports so we thought of building a score board using laser cutting of acrylic board and you can see uh, it is over here also uh, we have filed for a patent for a filtration system that is a face mask which is also the provisional patent has been granted and we are filing the final patent next is uh, as students uh, a lot of students from schools and colleges they come for our program uh, we thought that why not we do something interesting and uh, something which is more tangible so we have uh, this bipedal robot once the students they come to our prototyping lab they attend a full day workshop where they 3d print the body of the robot they will do shouldering of the wire of the robot they will program it for uh, various functions like it the ro the biped and robot can walk it can sing it can dance it can follow a path it can move things so all that has been built in that one day program that we do 
and uh, this uh, robot bipedal robot is given back to the school or the colleges so that they can take it back to their uh, respective institutions and they can teach other students over there so uh, the objective over here is not to keep the robot safe but the objective here is to break it so that you can learn and you can build it again okay even if you break it no is no problem we will replace it with another bipedal robot so that's absolutely fine provided there is some use happening for it uh, one interesting thing about this bipedal robot is that it can do moonwalk and that's with the music okay so i would like to show uh, another video of a, a prototype that we had uh, done uh, so this specific video has been uh, uh, captured in the local uh, language of konkani uh, if anybody doesn't understand konkani you can let me know i can explain you the same video uh, once it is uh, seen इनोवेशन के चेलिया सोला वर्ष की हा ती स्वतः हाथ खाएना खाएना ना तो ती बसना ती चलना अशा ती जागर आसता तिचा खातीर हाँ एक रोबोट बने लो जो तिका भरता बैल बरी नशि हाँ काम आशि so 
so is there anybody who did not uh, understand the language because of because it's in the local language you can please unmute yourself i can put in the in the chat and i can quickly uh, tell you what has happened in that video a uh, simple yes or no will do you do not have to uh, unmute also so can i go ahead with the next slide yes i think you can go ahead yes uh, thank you uh, so as uh, we are into uh, prototyping and uh, we have uh, we receive a lot of uh, applications so we thought that let's uh, upgrade ourselves and these are the some of the uh, 3d printers that are the latest addition for the prototyping lab i would request all the students to have to get take time uh, from your schedule and come visit the lab so that uh, we we can uh, show you what all things can be done uh, uh, at uh, with your ideas uh, if you have any okay uh, this is some of the parts that are built uh, at the lab uh, you can see all these parts that are 3d printed those are the parts of the latest uh, ma robot okay and we have named the ma new ma robot as prajakta because that's the name of uh, of uh, mr bipin's daughter for whom the robot was built you can see the scoreboard uh, in action uh, if you if you can put your uh, attention at the scoreboard you can see mr saidat kamat behind the scoreboard so this uh, particular scoreboard uh, uh, was uh, appreciated by a lot of people and a lot of people they have but they have taken it from us okay uh these are some of the initiatives that the innovation council does that from 2017 to 2022 we have done around more than 385 programs so far and uh, more than 30771 students have attended our programs and this and we have supported more than more than 537 projects for various competitions and ideathons and hackathons for the community in the state of goa uh, the way forward. So first is uh, we are looking to uh, create more success stories of innovators like uh, Maru Bot and Mr. Bip, uh, Mr. Bipin Kadam's story. We are also uh, aiming at building one, 100 prototypes at the prototyping lab. Right now we are at uh, 54 prototypes that have been built over there. Okay, and then uh, we are focused on creating an uh, innovation library and making it more. Uh, uh, resourceful uh, for people taking the innovation test and also we have uh, the, uh, the objective of creating a toolkit for innovators so a tool the toolkit for innovators will be a set of documents comprising of various business models startup models funding models uh, then product development models ideation models which any in individual or group of students or entrepreneurs can take it and they once they uh, Take the complete the exercise. Uh, at the end, they'll be provided with a proper report. That report can be used for pitching for any uh, support schemes uh, to be applied for. Uh, our secretary is established at the Don Bosco College of Engineering in Fatoda. Uh, uh, you are most welcome to come and attend uh, and meet us so that we, we can interact more. So that was uh, about the Goa State Innovation Council. Uh, if you have any questions, I would like to uh, answer those questions now. Participants can ask questions. You can post them in the chat box. Okay, uh, we have a question. Okay. So is there any provision for funding for developing innovative methods with emphasis on medically important chemical components, mobile information components? Yes. Uh, the, uh, Ms. Sonia Pasika, we have worked with a lot of similar projects. Okay, uh, we uh, so this so this specific requirement of yours. So whatever raw material that you require, like buying of chemicals or any uh, tools or equipment, all that can be covered under the grant of twenty thousand rupees. Plus, we can also get you associated with uh, the Biolek incubator, which is established at the Beach Pilani campus. And uh, we can collaborate uh, from the technical part, also from both the part, technical plus the business part. Okay, so we have one more question. Uh, please brief about agri tech related facility available. Uh, Swetan, uh, she, uh, I would suggest you please uh, get in touch with our office because there are 
a lot of uh, initiatives and activities that we do. In fact, we have also funded and supported a uh, agri tech uh, precision drone company where the, the complete drone was built at, at our prototyping lab. Please get in touch with us and uh, we will uh, uh, we'll discuss any specific query if you have. Our contact details are with, uh, with the professor uh, Deepa ma'am, please share uh, our contact details with, with the participants. Uh, yes, sir, I will. Yes, thank you. And also, I, I'm very proud and honored to also announce that uh, every year uh, the government offices, we have to participate and nominate uh, for the prestigious Prime Minister's Award. So, uh, so I'm very happy to announce that uh, we have been shortlisted for the Prime Minister's Award for the Virtual Innovation Register. And uh, we have cleared the round one and round two just got over. And only 10% of total ideas in the, in the country were shortlisted for the round two. And uh, we are the only innovation related uh, uh, department that has been nominated for the PM's Award. So nomination doesn't guarantee us the award, but uh, uh, in the state, uh, we are the only one representing the uh, nomination. Any more questions we have? So at least you can uh, give a feedback, like how was the session? I hope I'm not bored anybody. No, sir. Nice and interesting. Yes. You can post any more questions. If any, you can post them in the chat box. Yes. I'll also put my contact number over here so that if anybody wants to get in touch with us, you are free to do that. Okay, we have one more uh, very, uh, very important question. What if someone has an idea but doesn't have the skills? Uh, Ankita, uh, the concept of virtual innovation register is what we are looking where you can park your idea. Okay, and once you put your idea over there, we are going to support you in uh, getting your technical co founder, a business co founder, or even if you need support in building uh, a tangible or an intangible product. So, all that support will be provided to you not necessary that you have to be involved uh, with the project. Even as an idea uh, source, uh, we can have a transfer of technology where any uh, investor who's interested in buying a technology or working with you, we, we can collaborate that and we can get him onboarded and you can simply have uh, maybe some equity uh, in the idea, but the uh, manufacturer or the investor can pick your idea. So all that can be provided through the virtual innovation register and transfer of technology. I hope Ankita have answered your question. Thank you, sir. The feedback link has been uh, posted in the chat box. Uh, kindly fill it. So on uh, behalf of uh, the Institutions Innovation Council of Dempe College of Arts and Science, I extend my deepest gratitude to the speaker for today's workshop, Mr. Sudeep Faldesai, for having taken time from his busy schedule and gracing the session. Thank you, sir, for a very enlightening and informative session on the various aspects of startup ecosystem. Your presentation has given a clear idea of the functioning of Goa State Innovation Council, the prototyping lab, and uh, the various uh, method methods to be adopted in launching a startup. Your valuable suggestions are surely going to continue the spirit of innovation amongst the participants. The startups uh, which are uh, promoted and launched at the Goa State Innovation Council uh, is uh, truly promoting the mission of Atmanirbhar Bharat and uh, supporting the people from the state from various walks of life. I also thank the management of Dempo Charities Trust for their support and promoting the Innovation Council activities.
I also thank uh, Principal Madam Professor Brinda Borkar. She has always been a great source of inspiration, and under her able leadership, the Innovation Cell is truly promoting the culture of innovation among the faculty and students of the college. I thank the members of Innovation Council for extending help in organizing today's webinar. My sincere thank also goes to the faculty members and students of Dempe College and institutes and other institutes for having participated in today's webinar and making it a big success. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Kindly fill the feedback form.